So I really wanted to go over some really basic terms before we begin this section, um, just so we can kind of put together what these reactions are, what the vitamins and minerals, how they're being used in those reactions, so we can kind of apply it to when we get to the vitamins and minerals and deficiencies and sources, what's going on inside of our body, and why we might see some clinical signs and symptoms of some of the things that happen when we don't get certain vitamins and minerals. So the first thing is knowing the difference between glyco and gluco as it's used as a prefix, because that's going to help us figure out what the reaction does. So we have three different reactions that start with glyco, and I'm going to pronounce them the way they look. So we have glycogenesis. Genesis means making. We have glycogenolysis. Glyco, making. Lysis, breaking down. And glycolysis, breakdown, lysis. Um, then we have gluco, which has two reactions. So gluco, we have glucogenesis. Genesis is making. And gluconeogenesis. Neo means new, and genesis means making. So what do those mean? Well, going back to our three glyco, can you name the three glyco? Glycogenesis is the first one. It is making glycogen. Pretty easy. Glyco, glycogen, genesis, making. Got it. Glycogenolysis. Um, so we have lysis at the end. So think of that as like the most important prefix, okay? So glycogenolysis is going to be the breakdown of glycogen. It is making glucose. Okay, so that's our making part. But our primary thing is the breakdown of glycogen. Glycogenolysis. And then we have glycolysis, which is just simply the breakdown of glucose, okay? So don't get that confused. We are breaking down glucose with glycolysis, um, or glycolysis, as we would say, glycologists, right? Glycolysis. Um, and no, we're breaking down glucose to make pyruvate, ATP, and NADH. Now, our gluco reaction, there are two gluco reactions. Can you name them? Glucogenesis, so this is going to be genesis, making glucose, gluco, and gluconeogenesis, so we're getting making, neo means new, glucose, and this is going to be from protein or fat, so you have protein or fat, and we're going to make new glucose, all right, so glucogenesis, making glucose, gluconeogenesis, making new glucose, and then we have glycolysis, which is the breakdown of glucose, but it starts with glyco, so just remember that. Now we've got a few terms that I want to talk about, enzymes, coenzymes, cofactors, and hormones, just kind of knowing the difference of those. So our enzymes, they're going to be catalysts that control the reaction. Typically, these are going to be proteins. We have coenzymes, which activate the enzyme. Typically, these are vitamins. We have cofactors, which are going to assist the enzymes. So these are typically going to be minerals. So I like to think of vitamins are the enzyme activators. Cofactors, um, those minerals, those are those like, I think of vitamins as like more abundant or more important than our minerals or um, smaller amounts we need, I guess. And they're going to assist the enzymes. And then we have hormones, which they are the trigger. So I like to think of hormones. And you don't want to trigger somebody who's hormonal, right? So our hormones, they're going to be um, secreted from the endocrine glands. So that's our basic um, kind of breaking down words and understanding what's going on. So that way when we go through some of the biochemistry stuff, we can put two and two together. We can know what vitamins are coenzyme activators for what process. We can know what minerals are going to assist what vitamins for what process. Um, so, and then again, even our hormones, what are going to trigger the processes to happen? So that's uh, all I have for kind of my intro on our biochemistry section. Hopefully that's helpful, and um, we will be talking more about it in our next videos. Thanks, guys.